all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. Who shot y'all? Separate the weak from the ops. Leap hard to creep them Brooklyn streets. It's on, nigga. Fuck all that bickering beef. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Funeral you know while you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Shout out to Trevor Lawrence, man. This kid must have seen my video I did a couple weeks ago. Somebody must have floated it to him. Because you know important people listen to Fisk. I told you, like, I'm like that underground rapper who's your favorite rapper's rapper. That's what I am. You know what I'm saying? Remember how Cassidy and Jada Kiss, they always used to tell you, yo, I'm your favorite rapper's rapper? Yeah, well, that's Fisk Vapes. All right, I'm, your, I'm probably your favorite beat writers, I'm probably your favorite Twitter person, I'm probably their favorite YouTube. So somebody probably floated my Trevor Lawrence video to the kid. Because now he's non-committal about coming out the draft. He wants to see what the future holds. He doesn't want to make any quick decisions. That's a smart kid. I like this kid. More and more. More and more. I like this kid. Because you know what? Don't be Sam Darnold. Don't be that. Sam Darnold was supposed to be like the next big thing. Ben Roethlisberger, he was supposed to be the next transcendent quarterback. That's what Sam Darnold was. And you know, when I did that Trevor Lawrence video, the point I tried to make to Trevor Lawrence is every single stinking year, there's a transcend. There's a Trevor Lawrence every year. Every year there's a Trevor Lawrence. Now I know a lot of y'all don't look at it that way because everybody, y'all live in the present. Y'all don't y'all don't reminisce on the past. One of the things that I like to do on my channel is I like to keep things in perspective. Which is why y'all get mad at my power rankings, because I don't move my power rankings that easy because I like to remember where my mind frame was in August when I made them. What I'm trying to say is Jameis Winston. Oh, you can't miss with Jameis Winston. You can't miss with Marcus Mariota. Jared Goff throws the most pretty deep ball in college football. You can't miss with this kid, Jared Goff. Carson Wentz, big strong arm out of the out of North Dakota, wherever the hell he came from. Then you have freaking um Kyler Murray, can't miss. He won the Heisman. Baker Mayfield, can't miss. Did he win the Heisman or whatever? He's like 40 touchdowns. No, Baker Mayfield was the, the pod piper. Remember when um Hugh Jackson called Baker Mayfield the pod piper? You know what I'm saying? It's like every single year, you just have these quarterbacks who everybody says they can't miss. This year, Joe Burrow. Is, is Trevor Lawrence, let me ask everybody a question. Is Trevor Lawrence doing anything that Joe Burrow didn't do? This guy Joe Burrow had to do like 60 touchdowns. And then hell, Dwayne Haskins threw 50. What I'm trying to tell you is, all of these quarterback prospects are great coming out of college, damn it. You know what separates these guys when they get to the professional level? The organizations that they get drafted to. That's what separates these quarterbacks when they get on a professional level. All these quarterbacks are good in college, bro. They're all good. Go back and look at all these quarterbacks. They're all good. If they weren't good, they wouldn't be getting drafted. The guy Lamar Jackson was rushing 4,000 and throwing for 3,000 and 4,000. I mean, come on. So what I'm trying to say is this, people. How much better would Sam Darnold be if he went to a competent organization like the Bills or the Dolphins? You know what I'm saying? Remember Josh Rosen? People actually thought Josh Rosen was a franchise quarterback. But he got drafted to the Cardinals with a head coach who got fired and didn't like it. Kyler Murray goes to the perfect situation with his college coach, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes goes to the perfect situation with Andy Reid. You know what I'm saying? It's like you have to look at the situations that you go to. This guy, Marcus Mariota, had all the talent in the world, but he went to a team that fired their head coach 
and then kept on the replacement coach. I don't even remember the name of this man head coach when he was in Tennessee. You want to talk about a waste of talent? The guy Mariota was wasted in Tennessee. Marcus Mariota was good. The dude was down 17 points to Alex Smith and threw himself a touchdown. I mean, the kid, the, the guy, the, the, he threw himself a pass. I mean, the guy Mariota had potential, but he was on a bad franchise. So look at Ryan Tannehill. He get drafted to the Dolphins with Adam Gase, and everybody thought he was a bum. Now he finally gets his second chance at Tennessee, and he's been like the, 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 the best quarterback in the league statistically over the past year. So when I look at a guy like Trevor Lawrence, you gotta, you gotta sit back and say, damn, do I really wanna go to the Jets and have my career ruined like Sam Darnold? Do I really wanna have my career ruined like Sam Darnold? Do I really wanna have my career ruined like a Dwayne Haskins? At least the Giants, the Giants are going to give Daniel Jones every opportunity to succeed. And like the Giants are a well-run organization. The Giants are not the Jets. The Giants, for all the faults on the Giants, the Giants try to do the right thing. What the Jets do make no sense. The Jets literally fire their general manager after he spends all their money in free agency and does an entire freaking draft. They fire him because he gets into an argument with Adam Gates. What the hell kind of franchise is that? The Jets traded Jamal Adams because he hated Adam Gates. They cut Le'Veon Bell because he hated Adam Gates. They got rid of Robbie Anderson because Adam Gates didn't like him. The, the Giants aren't the Jets. We're not. We're not even close. We got rid of Odell because Odell is a problem child. But that's about it. Landon Collins weren't worth the money. I mean, the Giants don't do the things that the Jets do. So Daniel Jones is fine. It's just up to Daniel Jones' talent to live up to the expectations of a sixth pick. But when you're Trevor Lawrence, you're expected to be Jesus. You're expected to be a savior. That's what you're expected to be. You're going to the Jets to be the savior. And if you can't elevate that organization because they're inept, and God forbid they don't fire Adam Gates, you really want to go play for Adam Gates if you're Trevor Lawrence? So I'm real happy that Trevor Lawrence is saying, damn, you know what? Am I really that much better than Joe Burrow and the rest of these guys? Every year there's a, there's a Trevor Lawrence every year. Am I really that much better? Andrew Luck goes to the Colts and his career is over because they didn't block him. His friend, the organization drafted wide receivers and cornerbacks instead of offensive line. So well, if you're Trevor Lawrence, you're like, damn, maybe I should go back to school. Because I don't want to have my career ruined because I go to a trash organization. And this isn't the NBA, people. You see, in the NBA, you can ball. You could be Devin Booker. And, and lose for years and years and years on a sorry team and nobody would give you smoke for it. But in the NFL, if Trevor Lawrence goes out there and loses, he, they're going to look at him like a bust. This is two different sports. Baseball, Mike Trout never goes to the damn playoffs, but he could put up all the numbers he wants to and he still looked at as a great player. I just gave you the Devin Booker example in basketball. But when it comes to football, it doesn't matter what numbers you put up. If you lose, you're going to look, get looked at as a bump. Matthew Stafford numbers are Hall of Fame worthy, but he never wins. So he's looked at as a bump. Football is about winning. It's not about numbers. Drew Brees is the, historically, statistically speaking, Drew Brees is the greatest quarterback that ever lived. Nobody's putting him ahead above Montana and Brady and all that stuff. You got to win. Football is about accumulation of wins. So I'm glad Trevor Lawrence is thinking about that, man. That's good for him. But anyway, I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rock with me. My name is Fitz Vegas, and I approve this message.